How's it going? We just got back this past weekend from Robbie Bowman's grudge match in Sevierville, Tennessee at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And while we were there, one of our friends from Atlas Knife and Tool stopped by and gave us some really cool items to try out here. Now, this is something I've been waiting for someone to come out with. And this is an actual high carbon steel railroad spike. <clears throat> now these are marked A, K, and T. So we know that this is made by Atlas. Um, I've got one out of the package already, but I wanted to go ahead and open the package right here on camera so that you knew that, uh, you know, it was coming from Atlas. Now what most people think of when they hear a high carbon railroad spike, they think of something like this which is probably around a 1040 steel. Um, this is just kind of a standard rail, uh, railroad spike. And these are tough steels. This does not harden to the extent of what a cutlery grade steel will. And aside from some San Mai examples where people have split this and uh, inserted a high carbon bit, or in some examples where I've seen some people have forge welded a high carbon uh, blade or stock four blade onto a railroad spike. Uh, these are probably the first of their kind. Now I've got a few of these and my plans are to go ahead and do some uh, do some builds with these. Now these are cast <clears throat> out of 1080. Now when I looked into it further, metallurgical analysis actually show these to be 1078. So it's slightly it, it's a little more maybe exotic. Uh, you can brine quench, you can oil quench. We're probably going to do oil quench on these. Um, so what I'm going to do is in a future video, I'm actually going to forge one of these out. Now what I would like to do, because I, I, I ended up getting several of these, I did some trading to get some more of these because I was like, we offer forge memory uh, spike classes. And uh, in fact, I've already done several of these today. We got a little bit of a break. So uh, my friend Jeff Daly, uh, if you've stopped by the shop, you've met Jeff at some point. Uh, he's helping me shoot this video today. And I thought, wow, you know, what can you do with these? Well, what can I do with this? There's a lot I can do with this. And it's a matter of what I've wanted to do with the spike in the past that I wasn't able to uh, do to... Uh, variables and performance of the material. So I, one, I anticipate this to be a lot tougher to work. Um, so we're gonna continue uh, to offer our standard spike class, but we may actually start offering a, a more advanced class because this will require a better heat treatment. Um, and it's gonna take a little more time because it's it's a tough, you know, this is a tough steel. This is, this is a higher grade steel right here. So um, <clears throat> I want you guys to go ahead, if you would, like and subscribe, and there's going to be some upcoming videos on this particular build. So we'll catch you later. Be sure to check out Iron Mountain Metalcraft. Check out Axon Main Forge of Memory, Dust Roads Forge Works LLC, and uh, you might even see some of us on Forge and Fire and some other shows. We'll catch you later.